about a primary election versus the general election is the lack of engagement. There's just a lot of indifference out there, that's, and that's the reality. And uh, I, for one, support the, the early balloting or early voting options that are available right now to uh, create more and more opportunities for people to just go in and, and cast a vote. But I want to talk about issues first, then I'll get to the mechanics of the election. The, uh, this is going to be obviously an incredible opportunity, which makes it an important election, to end up with a majority of conservative-minded people, not only in the Senate, which we currently have, and in the House, which we don't have, but also uh, all the way up the tickets, including the governor's race. And uh, the importance of that is, is that whoever's in the majority in the House determines all of the uh, committee chairmen. Mm -hmm. Whoever's in the majority of the Senate does the same. The committee chairman uh, has the power, there's, all, there, there's thousands of bills that are presented, and the committee chairman is the one who decides what bills get a hearing. So when, when you have a, a, a Republican committee chairman, you probably aren't going to hear a bill about discriminating against someone because they have a hairdo. <laughs> we're, we're going to talk about uh, issues that are a little, little more kitchen table to the normal uh, Minnesotans out there. So getting a majority is a, a big, big deal. I did not fully understand that until I served in the legislature. Mm -hmm. the, uh, when we go through some of the issues that are out there right now, when I'm out knocking doors, um, the big one is the economy is the cost of, of, of people just living. Uh, I'm, I'm talking uh, at some doors to seniors who have lost their spouse already, and they are paying over 60% of their monthly income on housing. 